Yeah, we're looking at new Sabimi knives for 2022. Now. All right. Yeah, uh, you've seen the Kojin. That's actually not. That's that was released this last month. Yeah, that's um, pretty about Yeah. Yeah. Um, its little brother, <laughs> the Altus, is dropping on uh, the 27th of this month. So it's a thumb stud button lock. Nice. And I actually did the same thing. I went to I went to release it with the liner there. But uh, no, it's a... Uh, I like that. I did too. That's like a, that that's a great too. size. Yeah. yeah. That's a good ADC size. It's a thumb stud. Is it a flipper? I actually prefer studs or opening holes the flippers myself, so that's right up my alley. I like that a lot. I'm a 100% thumb stub person. Yeah. <laughs> This is also pending. It's a pending, pending name, pending this release the, date. This is the Wii, the Sabibi penny instead of the Wii penny. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Another button lock, flipper. You guys bring the button locks. People love them, man. They're just super fun. Yeah. It's a good size on this. There's a lot of people that really, really like this size. Yeah, that's actually like, I would say that one's a, a titch smaller than I like, but doable. This is like the sweet spot. Right it's like there. A, about a, about, I don't have the specs on it because it's not not here, but not it's like a, yeah, it's like a three and a half inch blade. It's like green micarta looks like. Yep. You guys gonna run nitro V on these, you think, or what's the blade still usually on the budget? Good question. We're doing a lot of nitro V. We're doing a lot of uh, D2 still. Um, we're doing a lot of 9CR. Uh, this one is marked nitro V. Nice. So, that's gonna be hugely popular. That one right yeah. there. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that's coming out in 2022 is going to be 20, uh, Nitro V. Yeah, it's a great budget to it. Sharp, it's easy, but it holds a good edge compared to like some of the other stuff. Did you see the yeah. Synergy 3? Uh, no. It was a recent release, so it's a uh, uh, um, Civivi version of the Wii Synergy 2. Okay, yeah. So the Synergy 2 was an integral handle titanium frame lock um, with M390 blade steel. Jim O'Young, the designer, brought it into the Civivi line with the G10 handles and carried over a lot of the same features from his you know, $450 integral uh, knife. So that's pretty cool. It's available in drop point or, or in a training point and Tonto. This is G10. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's a cool G10. That's a layered carbon fiber um, black G10. Yeah, that looks sick. This right here, this has everything that is included in that kit. Oh, that's kind of and then it shows you yeah, the price point on it. It's got a, um, it's been milled, so that it's not just a flat G10 handle. Yeah, it's contoured. Really it's nice. contoured, it's got a palm soil in it, and, uh, and the uh, teardrop or raindrop pattern, what it, uh, ripples, give you a really good texture in the hand. Yeah, I love that uh, G10. Right. Yeah, we got something that's 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 new that's cool. Let me hit, let me hit, show you this little guy just because it's a new little accessory. This is an old stop L designed pry bar. So a little piece of a little piece of titanium. Just make sure you don't jack up your blades. Yeah, and you can just throw that in the keychain. It's got a key ring. Yep. Cool. Ostap L the design that he did with this um, most recently. It's this little uh, neck dagger kind of thing. Yeah, it's mean looking. Yeah, it's a, it's sharpened on one side, so you can get your finger out there and use it to you know for some precision cutting, that kind of a thing. Cool, neck knife. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, it's a little yeah, Toby. <laughs> yes. Yes. Never say his last name. Sent me that. Real world tactical. Real world tactical. I actually was at Top Golf them last night. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, this is his design. Just nice and handy, compact. Um, just kind of take it. What is it? It didn't. The pry bar. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, so you right? could actually have it as a ceramic or a straight blade. <laughs> yeah, it was something that Tony wanted to do to just That's to, unique, to try something different. Yeah, it hasn't been done cool. before. Yeah. Um, says, hey, can you guys make me a fixed blade, but it's a caramba and a straight blade? This is kind of that's kind of what he said. And we're like, uh, sure. So is there a button release? How does it work? Yeah. Right there, you got the button on there. Just press the button, move it into the crambit position, we're back to the straight um, position. And this thing is sharp everywhere, right? Yeah, so, like <laughs> so any and his his concept was any motion is a cutting motion, right? So, so when you're holding that, whether it's crambit and you're, and you're backwards or you're forwards or, or any any kind of motion, you have the ability to make a cut. 
That is really cool. Um, the sheath holds the the knife in either the karamba position or the straight position, locks it in tight, and it can be adjustable for uh, horizontal or vertical carry. Do you know if the holes in the sheath like match up with like a straight carry concept clip or like a ulti clip? Um, they're they're made specifically to match the ulti clip. Yes. We did a lot of work with ulti clip actually, um, and uh, we we almost offered the product with an ulti clip. Um, ended up changing our, our the, the direction there in the end, but making sure that this matches so that you can attach their, their little clips for uh, like atta molly attachments and that kind of a thing. That is seriously yeah. a cool innovative design. Though. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Tony, did, Tony did a cool job with this. Yeah, he did. That's awesome. Right. That's what we got for Civivi. Awesome, man. Well, it's a good time today, Seth. Appreciate of course. It. It's a good shot show. You too, man.